water quality issues that we didn't catch until later than we probably should have. Right. So that stunted a lot of the plants in this area. And the main thing was our pH. Whenever we were mixing in the fertilizer, it was kicking our pH down to like a four. Gotcha. And we didn't catch that until probably the third week of July. Mm-hmm. And since then, we've been raising that pH back up to about a seven. Gotcha. And running it that way. And since we've done that, it's been a complete Nine day. turnaround. Yeah. I mean, and you, I mean, for the place that you guys are, I just, you know, adding your water, changing the pH and all, it really does look great out here. And uh, you have a lot of acreage. And so I'm looking at the plants, and they're just, these are gonna, this is going to be a good grow. Right. Well, that's, you know, and that's the reason, remember we were talking, I was like, hey, don't go to 20 acres or 30, because it was just one of those things where it's like, let's get the learning curve piece out of the way. Yeah. So then when you go through, you can say, okay, these are the things that will change. And these are the things that we've learned and you know, so then you don't have as much loss you know, in that first year. So it's really good, but it looks great. I mean, it really does. And they'll go, you know, for me, I'm different just looking at the surface and they'll get into the details and in the weeds, but at least it does show kind of where we are at this place. And I, I say, you know, as we've been visiting farms, just comparison, your plants look great. Man, very nice.